Good afternoon, friends. How is everyone today? Thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful spring afternoon. I am coming to you from our wonderful Cedar Rock Park here in Alamance County. So let me introduce myself to you. I am Miss Amanda and I am in the Children's Department at the Alamance County Library. And today, this story time is coming to you as a planned partnership with the City of Graham and the Tree Board. So we're going to do this every week in April to do along with their Arbor Day since unfortunately we can't meet in person to have it but we can do this and I live right behind Cedar Rock Park so it's a beautiful place for her to come visit. I suggest you come visit one day with your parents too. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first song. So everybody stand up we're gonna get some wiggles out. So how many of you like to eat apples? I do! Do you know where apples come from? That's right, they come on trees. Lots of fruits are grown on trees and apples happen to be my favorite one. So we're gonna go ahead and start singing. I'm gonna do it first and then you can follow along, okay? So way up high, stretch up high, way up high in the apple tree. Two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples, mm-mm, good. All right, so we're gonna do that one more time. All right, can you stretch up tall like a tree? Stretch up really, really tall. So way up high in an apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree, shake it, shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mm -mm, good, good job. So what other fruits grow on trees? Maybe some pears, some Mangoes, oranges. Oranges are also one of my favorite. They're big and round, or you get some little ones. So I'm going to read a story to you now about growing trees and the benefits planting a tree can have on you and your community. So here is our book. It is entitled, We Planted a Tree, and it is by Diane Muldrose. Let's go ahead and get started. So we planted a tree. Where did they plant their tree? Is it in their backyard? It looks like they're in a big city. They planted their tree, they dug the hole, and they're gonna put it in there. We planted a tree and it grew up. They're in some place kind of different from the city. It looks like they're out in a desert perhaps, out in the middle of nowhere. So they don't have many trees around. So let's see what that tree does. We planted a tree and it grew up while it reached the sky and the sun. Look how tall that tree is, nice, big, and round. The sunshine went into the leaves and brought food to the tree, and the tree grew up. It's kind of like you need food and nutrients, so does the tree. Fat little buds appeared on the branches. Look, the tree's going to be blooming. They look like they're in a park, kind of like we are here at Cedar Rock. You see the path? The sunshine went into the buds and soon it burst open. Everywhere it was pink and we were dizzy with springtime. So in the spring, you've probably noticed all around your neighborhood, trees are blooming. Beautiful. The sun kept shining and the pink blossoms dropped off, but soon there were green leaves, green, green, shiny leaves, which had food inside of them. Green, green, shiny leaves, which cooled us, which kept the earth cool. We planted a tree and it grew up and it gave us a shady place. So look, they're underneath, they're doing some work underneath their shade tree. They're reading a book and look, the puppy dog's taking a nap under there. The tree's leaves helped clean the air and we breathed better. So the trees give us oxygen to help us breathe. That's why they're so important. Look, they're playing baseball. The tree fed us apples and oranges and lemons. Like I was talking about, we have lots of fruits that come off of trees. The big round fruits. And sap for our syrup. Sap for your syrup. So yeah, big tall pine trees, they plug a hole in it and all of the sap come out and it makes our syrup. Kind of like for your, you know, you make pancakes in the morning. So that's where your syrup comes from. We planted a tree and it grew up. The tree kept the soil from blowing away. Now rainwater could stay in the earth. I told you we'd figure out what this tree was doing. It's kept all the rainwater there. And what were they able to grow? 
you'll see. The soil became healthier because the tree was there, so we planted. We planted butternut squash and beans, corn, onion, and cabbage in a healthy soil, the rich, dark dirt. So this tree not only helped them have shade, but it also helped them to be able to plant their own garden. And with their garden, we could grow our own food and they ate better. Look at those beautiful colors of all of the vegetables and fruits. You think the goat's gonna eat something? He's eyeballing that radish. We planted a tree and it grew up and it dropped acorns that fed the squirrels in the winter. The birds came and the other animals came too to live in the tree. Who do you see living in the tree? Who do you see right there? See an owl? What's an owl say? Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and there's a squirrel going after the nut. And look, the raccoon's going to try to get some. So trees are helpful to everybody. We planted a tree and that one tree made the world a better place. Look, they're on a farm. I wonder how old that tree is. It's probably a really, really old tree to be that big. And she's got a swing on it. We planted a tree and that one tree helped heal the earth. So it's important to have trees. Giraffes are enjoying it. Look all the way up at the top. We planted a tree and it grew up. So I bet this was the little girl when they planted it the first time and now they're there with their family. And it grew and grew and grew. And so did we. So they encourage other people to plant a tree as well. Good job listening guys, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed that story, I sure did. In this story we learned that trees can grow anywhere as long as you plant them and they can grow to be any size. So we have one more rhyme for you before we go. If you want to stand up, I'm going to sing it once and then you can do it again. It's got some hand motion, so make sure you have space, all right? So some trees are thin, make it thin, really, really small. And some trees are tall, can grow really, really tall. Some trees are wide and some trees are small. Some trees reach high, can reach high all the way up to the sky. There you go. And some trees bend low, they go low to the ground. But no matter what, all trees are perfect no matter where they grow. All right, so we're gonna do it one more time. Are you ready? So some trees are thin, they're like a thin tree. And some trees are tall, reach up tall. Some trees are wide, like a really wide base. And some trees are small. Some trees reach high, reach up high, 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 high. And some trees bend low, but all trees are perfect no matter where they grow. Well, thank you guys for joining me this evening. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Um, we'll be doing this all month, like I had said earlier. And make sure you join the Graham Facebook page, and I'll have a whole lot of other listings of different Arbor Day events they're going to do in the month of April. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye, guys.